Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial show. Today we have an interview, a very important interview. Please welcome Big Billy. Hey. Billy, how are you? How are you I'm feeling? Amazing, how are you? I'm amazing too. And tell us, it's your first time here in Mexico, right? It is my first time in Mexico. And tell me, what, what is the idea to come to Mexico? You, you are going to present us a... A master class. A master yeah, class. this Saturday I'm doing a master class uh, in Mexico City at Evocal e Studio. Um, I'm excited because it's my first time in Mexico and I get to like teach aspiring artists um, how to get into the industry and, and, and you know what are the pitfalls, what are the things they need to do to, to be successful. I really have a big question because you know it's difficult to start in the, in the music, in the business mm -hmm. and could you please tell us something about this? It's I mean I, I think that um, for me you know I've worked at so many different record labels over the years, um, Def Jam, uh, Atlantic Records and Sony Music and I think for me the first step for identifying artists is to assess where they are um, in their career. Some artists are very early, they need vocal lessons, they may need to you know, uh, start writing, learning how to write songs better. Um, some are more advanced and they're ready to get in the studio with bigger name producers and record more, you know, more advanced music. I think that everything, everyone is in a different place. So for me it's about assessing each artist individually and kind of figuring out what they need to be successful and this this artist is different from this artist but I want to you know try to help everybody. And what is the the idea of the the artist what is the most uh, important thing that you that you need to discover and a talent in um, one person? It's it's ho it's it's not that um, easy to answer. It's not it's not that black and white. I think for me like I said when I when I meet an artist if they have, if they're a great singer and they have a lot of talent, it's the next thing is, are they marketable? Um, you know, what they're, what are they selling? What are they talking about? After that, it's like I want to sit with them and talk to them and just kind of get in their head and figure out like, you know, where's their head at? Are they focused? Are they driven? Are they lazy? Are they, you know, there's all these different things that could slow down their their career, and, and I want to uh, like figure out kind of what what where their head's at. Okay. So I mean, as long as they have talent and they're driven, they can get through a lot of stuff. But there's also certain things that I always look out for because certain things could be hidden pitfalls. I have a big question because, you know, what is the most difficult artist that you ever managed? Oh my gosh. I mean, I you probably, I no. probably <laughs> couldn't, I probably couldn't say any names, but there's, there's definitely been, there's one artist that I worked with that's a huge name, huge, huge, huge uh, rapper. Um, and very, he was very, <laughs> he was very difficult for a long time. He, he was very cold and closed off. And it took me three, like three years just to kind of crack him. And I, I worked with him a lot, but he was always very standoffish and very cold to me until I moved to New York. And then finally he was like, okay, now you're, you know, now you're cool. And I was like, eh. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it happens. I mean, it, there's, there's always gonna be people that you get along with amazingly and some people that you don't get along with so much. But as long as I stay true to who I am and what I believe in and what I, what I know will work talent wise, that's always my fight. You know, it's, I, I've never, I never do, things or make decisions for myself it's always for the sake of the artist and the and the best the best avenue for the artist uh, who is the best you can tell us uh, the names best, the best uh, the uh -huh. um, I mean I, I worked with Christina Milian for a long time and, and me and her traveled the world and we have the best time and we we would make videos uh, we would every city we'd go to we would make videos of us dancing and acting like Kids, but it's it was fun. It was like me. She became like one of my best friends, and and um, and she's she's amazing, super talented girl. But that, I mean, I've, I've there's so many artists. They, they all have different different stories. But I think Christina's always been the funnest artist I've ever had. I've awesome. had yeah. That's that's really nice. Yeah. And uh, I suppose that you have some something that you inspired. And what what is the what what thing inspired your career in this moment and also before? Like what? Like what inspired me to get into the in, in music uh, industry? Into the music. Um, I've always loved music. I think I think growing up, I was always um, raised in a house that always had music, and I was always a dancer. I loved dancing all the time, and so even in high school, I was always like the kid that was always dancing all the time. So I always got hired for for choreography gigs and dancing gigs, um, which is amazing. But like that's what what made me want to be into the music industry and and, and help guide artists on the behind the scenes side. When we finish this interview, we go to dance. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
I like the, the way in the social network influence the, the new artists, the new people. Um, I think that everything is always evolving and that's just the next step of evolution for the industry. Um, you know, everything's always going to find its way and, and with social media now it's like you, you get to see as, for me as an executive, it's easy for me to find out which artists are really making noise because you see their numbers go up. So if someone's telling you, yeah, I'm the hottest artist in Jamaica, I'm the hottest artist, everyone knows who I am. When I go to their social media, they have 500 followers. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. So yeah. I think it's the same thing with Spotify. It's like, you know, Spotify has become a really, a really, a, a real foolproof way of like seeing if, art, if, if fans are really, you know, checking for that artist. Because if an artist goes, I'm a, I have the hottest song and I'm doing all this, and then Spotify, they have a thousand streams. You're like, well, clearly no one's listening to your music. So if it's an artist that has, you know, 500,000 streams, it's like, okay, then th there's actually people that listen to the artist and like the artist. So it's like, that's what gets me excited. So social media, there's been ways that now social media is a way for executives like me to see if, you know, what's really kind of moving and what people are really listening to, like what's reacting. First of all, you need to have a uh, talent, obviously, no? Of course. And then maybe try to upload something to Instagram or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, I think, I think it always boils down to, if you're an artist, I think it's always going to boil down to the music. If you have great music, everything else will fall into place. Mm -hmm. That's always, that's always going to be the case. But, you know, if, you, if you're, if you're um, a singer and it's, you're not that great, but your social media is really good, I mean, it's, you know, there, there's ways around it. If, you, if some artists have success on YouTube um, and then that bleeds over to other things. Some, some artists have success on Apple Music and then that bleeds over to other things. Some artists have success on TV and that bleeds into other things. So it's, everyone has their own path. That's what I was saying. It's easy for me to assess an artist individually because everybody has their own, their own path and their own timing almost. <laughs> I think that, that it's really interesting this because the music is uh, an ocean. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, I would like to, to know if you will give some advice to the new Commerce in this business for people who have just started in the career. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's what I want to guide because I mean, the, the industry. I, I've been in the industry for over 25 years now. Um, I just hit the 25 year mark. So, um, but the industry has changed so much in 25 years, and even it's even changed in, in the last two years. It's always evolving. So, I want to just keep everyone up to date on how things are changing and, and what they can do to be successful. It's like there's. It's all, the industry is always evolving. And so as long as you understand how it's evolving, you'll know how you can insert yourself into the right situation for yourself as an as a artist. Of course. Uh, finally, do you want to say something to, to your public? I loved you. <laughs> Just kidding. Come to the master class if you can um, this Saturday at eVocal Studio. Please, I would love to come meet you. I would love to talk about music and see where I can help out. Um, there's also a ginormous summer camp um, in LA for Vocalize You. It's a 10-day artist intensive. It's in Los Angeles. It's amazing, and there'll be huge artists there, huge executives there um, to come and mentor and teach all of the artists. So come, it'll be amazing. I'll be there. A lot of my friends will be there. A lot of names that you know will be there. Um, and I just want to, you know, help out and 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 give some guidance because you know, what? for me, when I was coming up as a young executive there was nobody there to kind of go hey let me show you how it's done or let me give you the easy way to, to, to do it no one ever did that for me so for me now that I'm in the position to do that I want to help out that I want I, I never want to be that guy I want to be the one to say hey let me show you how it really works you know so that's that's just me wanting to give back well we, we go goodbye and thank you thank you for all yeah, that's amazing awesome. thank you see you <laughs>